Hello beautiful people and welcome to another decluttering lip products. This is the second Redwood one. Eyeshadows was difficult and unsuccessful. If you saw that, you know it was really hard. And this is gonna be dramatic as well, I am afraid. I think I'm gonna start on liquid lipsticks. I divided them a little bit for brand and finish. So these are my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. Ultra Matte Lips, Ultra Glossy Lips, and Ultra Metallics. Then we have Lime Crime, Gerard Cosmetics, this is Makeup Geek, Sephora, and some miscellaneous up there. I don't know what, how I'm gonna do it, but I think I'm gonna go and swatch everything on my arm, decide what I wanna keep, and talk to you about it. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. I swatched actually all of the metallics I have because I thought, well, if I'm gonna get rid of some, I might as well compare it. So here are my ColourPop up to here. These are my three Lime Crimes, Eclipse, Red Hot, and Zeus, Xenon. And these two are my Milani liquid lips. And up here I swatched the ColourPop glosses that I have that are metallic. So as you can see, there's a lot of overlap. So I think I'm definitely gonna get rid of if you can even see it. This shade, this shade, probably mugshot as well because I, I don't know, I don't use them and I actually prefer if I'm gonna go with a trashy red, uh, I'm gonna go with one of these. And then I'm also gonna get rid of the two Milani ones. So not too bad. This one goes, these two goes, this one goes as well, and this one goes. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these five and keep the glossy ones and these ones. And now time to clean all everything up and go on for the next one. Here we are. I swatched all my nude liquid lipsticks and they are all here. I think I am going to get rid of a few. I am uh, going to get rid of Colourpop Speed Dial, which is this shade here because it's really, really similar to um, this shade, which is the NYX Lingerie, as well as this shade, which is my Gerard Cosmetics Everything Nice, and I like the other formulas better than this one, so this one will go. Same thing goes with this one, this is Wild Nothing, it was from last year's uh, holiday collection from Colourpop, and it's this last swatch down here, and it's very similar to other um, shades like freaking frack which is an ultra satin which i prefer and this shade here which is 1995 by gerard i'm also gonna get rid of because i will always pick a satin over a matte so i'm gonna keep freaking frack and get rid of the two matte versions and i'm quite doubting this shade here which is tall because i never wear it it's so dark and gray for me that i'm not sure I'm gonna make a maybe pile and I'm gonna wear these this month to see if I want to keep them or not. So I'm keeping these nudes, getting rid of two, three, uh, and moving on. These are such a pain to remove, by the way. Next mini category is the dark reds. Um, I have a lot, as you can see. There's uh, three, six, nine dark reds, and here they are all swatched for you. So I am clearly keeping the warm tone ones. So this one, which is Rouge by Colourpop. This was a limited edition with Karuche. Um, and I'm definitely keeping this one. It's beautiful. Same thing with this one here. This is Prim by Colourpop. It's an ultra satin lip, beautiful shade. Definitely keeping that one. Then I wanna keep one of these two very dark ones, and I remember Mamacita, which is this one here, has a better formula than Saturday, which is this one here. So I'm gonna keep Mamacita and uh, get rid of Saturday, so this one goes. And of these two, this is Wicked by Lime Crime, and this is Avenue by Colourpop. I'm gonna keep Wicked and get rid of Avenue. Um, and these last three, I'm gonna get rid of Dream Girl by Lime Crime, which is this one because it has a little bit too much gray for my liking. And then I'm gonna keep Gerard Cosmetics Ruby Slippers and Chateau by Colourpop because I really like these two. 
So I am keeping six, getting rid of three. I managed to clean my arm out, but my hands now are stained red. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm just gonna clean up a few things. These are the glosses. Um, I love them all. These are fudged stain um, outlaw and, and suki. I love these glosses. They're definitely staying. We come to the next category, which is a very hard one for me. It's my browns and oranges. If you know me, you know this is pretty much all I wear. So let's see the swatches. Um, I started with Lime Crime Pumpkin, Mama, Love Bug by Colourpop and Secret Stash, the comparable lippy sticks. Then we have Tidal, Tansy, this is Lime Crime Saddle, this is Colourpop Limbo, Lime Crime Salem, Colourpop Embellish, and this is a Sephora one that I thought was pertinent, but it really isn't. So, of these, I actually don't want to get rid of anything. I tried to compare them with some uh, other creamy lipsticks. So, this is Hollywood Boulevard, this is Taurus by Colourpop, this is MAC Bowl Me Over, MAC Antique Velvet, and Mulak Wonka. But to be honest, I just love these too much to give them away. I use them all. I'm, I'm gonna put Love Bug, this one here, in maybe pile to try because I remember it being super drying, so I would never wear it. And uh, uh, yeah, I just love these too much to give anyone away. I'm just gonna keep them all. This is not going very well anymore. Damn it. <laughs> From the previous pass, I totally forgot to swatch the Too Faced Melted Matte in Gingerbread Man. And uh, this is new. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely gonna keep it. This really doesn't fit in any of my organizers, but I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, let's go through a few other things before I keep swatching because my arm is getting sore. So these are my two only Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, it Heathers and Ashton. And I am keeping these ones because they're new and I've been really, really loving them. They were in my favorites recently. Then a few things I know I'm not gonna keep is uh, this one here. This is Kat Von D Bow Wow 5. I wore this twice and the formula just doesn't sit well with my lips. So I am uh, going to get rid of this one. This is MAC O Lady Retro Matte formula. This formula also didn't really work well with my lips, so I'm getting rid of this one. The Dose of Colors, this is Coral Crush, also didn't like it, used it twice, tried to get along with it, just couldn't. Getting rid of this one, it's a gorgeous color though, super nice and bright. This LA Splash in Gold AF, also just not a formula that I liked. It's a velvet matte liquid lipstick. Um, it's a pretty pink, but um, I used it a few times and it's just not formula for me. It's a bit too drying, so this is gonna go as well. Then uh, I have a few new products. Um, this is a melted matte in On Point, and this is a Tarte lip paint in Get It. Both shades that will not work for me, so I didn't want to open them even, and I'm going to pass them along. Then uh, this here is Meet Matte Hues in Adoring. I think I'm gonna give it another go because I don't remember if I liked it or not. I'm gonna just put it in the maybe pile. Let's put the maybe pile there. Shall we? Then, um, this is Give Me Glow Cosmetics in the shade Cherry Cola. This is a tiny bit too gray for me. It's, uh, again, it's, it's similar to Tool in the sense that it's a bit too gray for me, but it's a darker shade, beautiful. I, I only swatched it and I just, just not a shade for me. So this I'm gonna pass along. A uh, few things from Colourpop. These are two new glosses. This is 9 to 5. It's a beautiful rose gold gloss. 
that they gave out for the 5 million subscribers or followers on Instagram, I believe. This is new. Just not interested in the shades, so I'm gonna pass this one along. This is my backup of the shade My Jam, which is a metallic ultra glossy lips, which I have already and I don't think I need a backup. So I am going to pass this along because it's new. And here are two ultra blotted lips in the shade Bitto Sunny and Split. I bought five of these and uh, tried them on and I just didn't get along with the formula so I'm gonna pass these along. I know a lot of people love these. I just don't know. It, they didn't work for me. I, I, I just don't like them. Uh, another one that will go is this uh, lip paint by, I don't remember the name, what was it? Makeup Monsters? It's in the shade Skinny Dip. This formula is horrendous. It's very very drying. I really don't like it so I'm gonna pass this along or toss it or whatever some, if someone wants to try it. This is actually a really nice lip gloss that I got in a box. It's uh, glittery but it also is extremely emollient. Uh, it doesn't last very long but when my lips are chapped and I just want something to show that I actually tried, I love this one and it smells amazing so I'm keeping it. And uh, these are a sp sore spot for me. These are the LA Splash uh, Dia de los Muertos collection um, from last year, I believe. And I have them all except for Katrina. And I think that I am going to keep, keep these ones because they're super cool packaging and I can keep them for photos and props. I don't per se like the formula. Plus I then have a very bold metallic blue which I don't have anywhere in my collection and same with these purples. I like having something uh, a little bit um, de decorative and for special occasions. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one which is Valentina from the collection. It only has the bottom of, it, of the collection and not the cap which made me really sad when I received it. But um, I'm gonna get rid of this one and I am going to keep these four. Then Sephora products. Uh, these are my three cream lip stains. I love them. These are the shades 03, I think it's Strawberry Kissed. This is 01 Always Red and this is 42. I think it's called Rosewood. I love all of these. I'm definitely keeping them. The formula is amazing. And these are the two oil lip tints, rouge lip tint, yeah, um, that I purchased this summer. I really like the brown one. I think I'm gonna get rid of the pinky one. I just never wear it. I don't like it. Then some easy ones here before I keep swatching. Um, this is black from Colourpop. It's called Friday. I love having black lipsticks. I use them on Halloween every year. <laughs> so uh, this liquid lipstick is amazing. Definitely keeping it. I am also keeping Colourpop Dr. M. This is a beautiful dark teal. I, I had it in my anti-haul video. I, uh, I love this shade. It's so much fun. Definitely keeping it. This is an ultra satin lip. It's called Petit Four. It's a blue-based gray. I don't have anything like it and since I already own it I think I'm gonna keep it just for fun weird looks. I'm gonna try to wear it a little bit more. A uh, shade that I can get rid of is this Ultra Matte in Guess. Um, this is a very, very black, darkened purple. I don't see myself wearing it or doing fun looks with it, so this is gonna go. Okay, so, and here we are with the berries and purples, and these are the swatches. These are also difficult to get rid of because I have so few of them, um, because it's not shades that I usually wear. So I think I'm just gonna keep them all. <laughs> and actually, um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Barracuda. It's a bit of a yeah, mauve nude that just doesn't look really good on me. I know that. And I am going to wear it once more and then decide what to do with it. I want to keep Cupid by Lime Crime, this really baby pink, because I don't have any pink. I, not, I don't really wear pinks. Um, this is Tuesday. Then we have Lion King. This is Lock Diary from the Hello Kitty collection. This one here is Virginia. And this was a present uh, by a friend of mine. And 
um, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to try it on and see how it wears on me because it's really purple. This is new, this is in the shade Misbehaving. Beautiful deep berry. Then we have Lime Crime Beat It. Then we have Colourpop More Better. Lime Crime Red Rose. Colourpop Next. Colourpop Hutch and then, sorry, Notion, Hutch and then Next. And up here I have my regular lipsticks. So actually from here, I think I'm gonna get rid of Lime Crime Beat It. It's this shade here, doesn't really pop to my eyes like the others do. And uh, I still need to decide whether I want to keep Red Rose because it's really bright. So I'm gonna put this in the maybes, get rid of, beat it, and keep the rest. Yeah, I didn't do very well on this, but I really uh, want to have options when it comes to different looks uh, because I, otherwise I end up wearing always the same shades. Always the same shades. And we're getting towards the end. I'm actually not displeased from this. I'm gonna swatch these three on my hand so that we can make a quick decision. This is Ribbon from Colourpop. This is the most gorgeous classic red. I love it. It was in the Hello Kitty collection. This shade here is an ultra matte from the collection with Alexis Wren. It's called Little Weapon. I think I am going to get rid of this one. It's way too neon for me. I just don't wear these shades. And this is an ultra satin lip in the shade Cozy, which is also way too neon. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these two, keep ribbon, and we're getting to, towards the end. These are all my Makeup Geek lipsticks and uh, these I have a bit of trouble deciding what to do with. I don't like or dislike the, the formulas, they're actually quite okay. I just know there's shades I will never ever wear. Like this one here is called Jet Setter, way too light for me. This one is definitely too much of a lavender. I think this purple can go as well. I'm almost tempted to keep this gray just in case I want to wear a gray. Um, and of these yeah, this is way too light for me. Um, this is elegant. It's a nice red, but I never reach for these. This one here is called Lively. And this is a mauve nude. This one is Risqué, which is a dark one. I just never reach for these, so I'm just gonna get rid of I think all of them at this point. I just, yeah, I just never reach, reach for them as much as they're nice, but I have both formulas and shades that I prefer. So I'm gonna get rid of all of them. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. This is a gel tint and silk gloss by Pixie. I tried it out. It's nice, but I just never wear it. I don't need it. I have too much. <laughs> so this is gonna go as well. And now we can get into the actual lipsticks. Um, I have a few uh, bullet lipsticks and here I have my Colourpop lippy sticks and my lip pencils. So we're gonna go through these as well. This is from Rimmel, it's Burning Desire. It's a metallic copper. I loved it when I bought it. I never wear it. This is gonna go. This is NYX Alabama and I wore it the other day and it's so good. I just need to wear it more but it's so so good. It's a warm toned red. Very beautiful. This is staying. These are my two Nabla Cosmetics lipsticks. This one is in Goa which is a rosy shimmer on a brown base and then this is Moulin Rouge from last year's Christmas collection which is a beautiful bright terracotta with a shift, beautiful shades. I am keeping them both. I am uh, going to go through these quickly. Um, I don't know what to do about them, to be honest. This and this I never use. They're a very light nude and a cool tone nude, which don't really suit me. But that said, I don't have these shades and if I ever want to wear them in a look, 
I want to have something like that. And since I got rid of my <clears throat> cool tone nudes from my liquid lipsticks, I think I'm gonna keep these. My MAC lipsticks, I love them all. I don't think I can throw anything away. This was for free and it's a beautiful, really bright blue for lipstick, National Lipstick Day. And uh, yeah, if you want to, me to do a full collection of these, I don't have so many, um, but I really like, love them. Uh, these are my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and this is in French Toast which I really like, I used it recently, 1995, which is a bit, oh, dried out actually, and cooler tone, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, and this is Cherry Cordial, which is a dark, uh, yeah, and this is gonna go as well, I just never reach for them, because my favorite dark shades are this one here from Mulak, this is Wonka, beautiful, beautiful shade and antique velvet that I showed you earlier. From Mulak I also have Crazy Like a Fox which is a bright orangey red and it doesn't look that orange on my arm right now but it, it is. Candy Cane which is a metallic purple. So much fun. Never wear it though. Maybe I should think about that. This is MILF, which is a nude, but these got melted in, in the summer. Um, it's so sad, but it's a beautiful nude that I really love. And uh, I'm not going to open it because the same thing happened to Rudolph, which is a bit of a cooler tone nude. Um, I really like all of them. This one here is new for me. This is Bitten Rose by Pixie, and I still need to test it. They seem very emollient and moisturizing for lipsticks so I'm gonna put this on the need to test pile and one that MAC lipsticks that I don't really wear very often is lustering I want it in a giveaway it's a luster lipstick and it's nice and pink and moisturizing I think I'm gonna pass it along to my mother-in-law I think she would probably like this one it's a bit too pink for me and too sheer so yeah, these are gonna stay as they are. We can move on to this drawer, let's say. This shade here is 430 Monjoule by L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal matte lipsticks. The problem with this one is it's almost a perfect dupe to MAC D for Danger. I just swatched them next to each other earlier. They're very similar. So I am gonna keep D for Danger and I'm gonna pass this one along because it's a really good lipstick, I just, they're too similar to each other. Then uh, I have my Kiko Matte Black lipstick, which I'm actually now thinking of giving, getting rid of. Ooh, look at how pigmented that was in one swipe. Okay, maybe I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> it's so pigmented. But no, I'm gonna get rid of it because I have Friday by Colourpop, which is a liquid lipstick so it, it dries matte and I'm always afraid when I have this that I'll, it will move so I'm gonna get rid of this these are two essence lipsticks maybe I'm gonna start swatching on the other arm and I've never worn them but I bought them for really cheap to wear with crazy looks the teal is especially beautiful look at that they were like one or two dollars each. I'm gonna keep them and yeah, wear them for crazy looks. They're so much fun. Then these are all of my um, L'Oreal special edition. And uh, of these, I know that this is Eva's nude. This was and is my one and only light nude that I wear happily in summer. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm actually wondering whether I want to just repurchase them because they're so old. Then uh, these are the three reds and I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I know I loved Blake's red. It's like a very classic red and these last so well. This is a classic red, red. Um, let me see compared to Russian red by MAC for example, because I have a feeling they might be similar. Yeah. Maybe Letitia's red is a bit brighter, but I don't see the reason to keep it. Um, oh no, this one is Letitia's red. 
This is a dark red. These were some of my favorites a year or two ago. They are so good. They last so long also. This was thousand red, which was a uh, orange. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of these. They're so good. And this was Julianne's red, which was a pinky one. Okay, so <laughs> I don't want to get rid of these. They're so good. This is so hard. <laughs> So I'm going to get rid of Blake's red, this one, because it's too similar to Russian red and it's even more cool toned, so I'm not, not likely going to wear it. I'm going to get rid of the dark one, Letitia's red as well, because I have MAC Diva, which is a dark red, and then I have all those liquid lipsticks that I like for dark shades. Yeah, I think I prefer Diva over that one for sure. And... The orange I've worn maybe once because I definitely prefer Chili by MAC. Which is a bit darker and more muted and something that I wear on a daily basis. And Julian's red, which is this really bright one. I'm going to get rid of these as well. So sad because I love these. I hope someone will take them and have good use of them. I love these. Um, then I have this L'Oreal Infallible Paint and the shade is Sultry Sangria. I'm not sure what I want to do about this. I think I'm gonna pass it along. I don't think I even ever wore it. And uh, this is a mini Tarte lipstick, which I think I wore once or twice. It's just a little bit too cool toned for me. I don't really reach for it, so I'm gonna pass it along. This was in a box. Um, this is a Laura Mercier Velour Lip Color in Happy. It's a metallic, cute pink, but I never wear it, so I'm gonna pass it along. Look at that! I can actually put everything back into one organizer. Perfect! Okay, so that was that party, people. Now, let's get through my lippy sticks and the lip pencils, which are also going to be hard. And these are the very last lip products I own. I swear, it's almost over. Um, I'm going to start with these two from Neve Cosmetics. This is Incognito, which is a beautiful, beautiful shade and uh, this is the gloss in uh, Lady of Shallot. I love these two products together by themselves, definitely keeping them both. And uh, I'm actually going back to Italy for Christmas and I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna buy one more of these glosses of theirs because they're so, so good. Keeping those. Then uh, lippy sticks. I know I can get rid of this one, this is in the shade Topless. It's a very bright orange. It's new and unswatched, but as you can see, it's very bright. I don't wear this very much. Um, then another one that I know, this is Brink. I've tried it once um, and it was definitely way too light of a nude for me. So I am going to get rid of it as well. Then we come to the difficult ones. So this is Ziggy, one of my favorites of all times. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I actually am thinking of getting a backup before returning to Europe. This is new Taurus. I bought this because I want to buy the matching um, nail polish from KL Polish. I love this shade. It's a very nice warm brown. I'm keeping that one. Then we have Gold Digger. This is the counterpart to Bumble. Beautiful, rosy shade, definitely keeping it. Same things goes with Secret Stash. This is the counterpart to Lovebug, the ultra matte lip from ColourPop. Definitely keeping this. I am devastated that this was discontinued. Devastated. I, I almost don't wanna wear it anymore. Then we have some of other shades that I'm not that sure about. So this one is Hollywood Boulevard. It's a brown with a little bit more 
yellow than Taurus. But to be honest, they're so similar. I think I'm gonna get rid of Hollywood Boulevard and keep Taurus. Then we have Goldie, which is a warm toned red. Doesn't look that warm toned on the skin, but it does more here. It's a pretty shade. Then we have NYX, which is one of my favorites. This is the counterpart to Notion. Nice deep berry. Dukes is also a very dark berry, which I've used a lot actually in the last winter. And we have Chateau, that is a dark red. Very dark red. Woo! Let's try not painting the world with this. My husband is so worried about our carpet. <laughs> and this is a mini, uh, it's called the Colourpop Lil Lippy. And it's in the shade uh, Trust Me. And this is a very famous, oh, this is a very famous red from them. Um, and I got the mini. This is a very pretty shade, but to be honest, I don't think I need it. I think I'm gonna pass it along. I'm gonna keep the rest though, because I love them. They're really, really nice. And we have come to pencils. I don't know if I have a lot of or a little, but um, they're definitely something I have been collecting for a while. Maybe let's go through the Colourpop ones first. I hate them because their caps don't stay on and the things inside come off. I think they should change their packaging or rethink it or something. Um, but yeah, let's get through this. I have Rooch, which clearly has some issues, but then uh, the next one I have is Dukes. They are all coming out of their packaging. This is so annoying. These are very similar, actually. I think I might get rid of one of them. This is Mamacita, which definitely looks better. Then I have 951, and I think this is Curvy. Also, all these all last three are from the I Love Sarah He collection. And then I have Bullshik, which is a black, which is new, never used. I only swatched it. I don't know what to do with a black lip liner, to be honest, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Then uh, of these three dark ones, I think I'm gonna get keep only Mamacita. Um, and get rid of Rooch and Dukes because I don't know, I don't think I need them. And of the two neutral ones, um, I'm gonna get rid of Curvy, I think. And I'm gonna keep 951. I'm gonna keep only these two. But let's see how the rest goes because I might have dupes for it anyways. So these are my Kiko ones. Unfortunately, this formula is discontinued because I was trying to actually get a collection out of them, as you can see. Some of these are really my favorites and um, they have been well loved. For sure, number 704, amazing nude, warm, definitely something I wear on a regular basis. Very similar 703, also one of my favorites, which is a little bit more pinky, so for more pinky tones. And then uh, these are just different tones for different lipsticks but for example this one I can get rid of. Uh, this is 707, it's a very bright coral but I don't have lipsticks that shade. Then 705 is a bright orange, I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. 709, oh beautiful magenta, I think I'm gonna keep that one. Then 711 is a dark mauve and 710 is a dark purple. I think I'm gonna get rid of these last two and keep these three. So far, um, not too bad. Then, this is from Kiko as well. This is an invisible lip liner. I keep it just in case, you never know. Then we have, change of hands, Neve Cosmetics. This is the Pastello in Crimson. I like this, but it's also meant to be used as a lipstick. So 
I feel it's a little bit too creamy to actually set, but I don't remember. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Then I have my two MAC ones. One is chestnut, which I use for my brown lipsticks, like antique velvet. And then I have night moth, which actually is pretty similar to Mamacita. Maybe I can get rid of something. No, I'm just gonna keep it. Oh, I found another Kiko. This is the 304. Also a brown, but a lighter brown. Beautiful shade, I love it. Then another Kiko, 310. This is a, a nudie pink. I don't have anything like it. Uh, and clearly I've been loving it a lot because it's quite sharpened. This is my NYX liquid, my NYX matte suede pencil. And the shade of this one is Cherry Skies. It's a cool tone red. I don't have anything like it. I think I'm gonna keep it. This is a Wicon. This is an Italian brand, by the way. Um, lip liner, dark red. I remember buying it for my dark reds. Um, I'm gonna keep it just in case. Uh, this is new from my, our Boxy Charm of October, Jean de Bleu. It's a nude that is quite cool toned, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I have kept one of these nudes from Colourpop. And this is also from Kiko. And this is a dried out pencil that can go in the trash. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm keeping these ones and I'm gonna put them back. And uh, we can take a look at how things are going. Let me see if I can put it all in one shot. This is all stuff that's going and I had a box that I wanted to use as a to go but clearly this is a lot of stuff that I got rid of. I am so happy. Maybe I can pour it all out. Woohoo! This is all the lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. As usual you're gonna find especially the new ones and the ones that I haven't used on my blog sale. There's all that I'm keeping and this little section is stuff that I want to use this week, this month to yeah, see if I want to keep it. I know this was a very long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me. I am going to now take all the pictures and put them on the blog. There is so much that I'm getting rid of. I'm so happy. My collection definitely, definitely got smaller. And uh, yeah, I have added new ones in the meantime. These are the new Colourpop trio, but these are so good. I have swatched them in between these things, but um, I know that I don't declutter to go minimalistic with my makeup, but more to make space for things I love and get rid of things that I bought for collections or things like that. So yeah, I am very happy, very, very proud and very happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to enter the giveaways that are going on on my channel. I will link them down below as well as the blog sale where you can pick up some of these things. Um, they're gonna be super marked down. I don't think anybody should be buying these full price when I've at least swatched them all. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.